Hey everybody, in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Freak Scene by Dinosaur Jr. off of the Bug record. And um, before we begin, uh, remember to like this video and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week. And here we go. Alright, so the chords for the um, intro part of the song as well as the verse are uh, D, E to A is the change. Um, but what Jay Maskus does in this song is he does these uh, a little bit differently um, than you would typically see in like kind of a rock song. They're not open chords, they're not power chords. Um, he uses some different um, variations on the chords. So to begin with, here's the intro of the song. Um, and that, that intro repeats a few times. Um, and so I'm going to kind of break down what's happening here. So normally an open D chord or even a D um, um, like power chord, like a D5 chord, you would play like an open D is like this. A D5 power chord most people would play here. What Jay does here is he does that, the D5 shape by playing these three notes which gives it kind of a cool sound, a little different than normal. Now when he plays it live, I've seen him add that A right here with his pinky, so. Makes it a little brighter. You can kind of play it either way. I think on, on the record it's hard to tell, but I think he plays it more like this. Without that pinky, it's a little easier to play and it sounds the same. Then you're gonna go to um, the E minor, which is kind of a standard, um, uh, like almost like the power chord shape. So, and, you, and the only difference with the E minor is you're going to play a couple extra notes here, so. And you can kind of hear when I strum through those notes. These notes are what kind of give it the minor sound. Um, a normal E power chord just sounds kind of heavy. But you add those extra notes and it gives it kind of that minor tone, intonation. Um, and then after that, it's going to be an A, but it's going to be a different form of the A. Um, and you're going to be playing up here. Um, and I think it's an A uh, add four, um, or it could be an A suspended fourth. Um, it's been a while since I did my um, chord making um, uh, classes or learn how to do it. So you're going to play this kind of weird for, uh, formation of an A. And then you're going to add these accent notes. And then, and that's basically it. Oh, and I forgot, I'll play it one more time and show you, I forgot another accent note here. So. So here you're going to slide up from that E minor. So. so that's basically it for the intro. Then when he's playing the chords in the song, he's not doing those accents, so it's just basically. So then at the end of the verse, he kind of lets these uh, um, D um, chords hang. Like the, it's the same D chord I showed you at the beginning. And then he plays this bridge part. So it's basically just seventh and ninth fret. And uh, it's kind of similar to like how you would play with your pinky, like these kind of rock rhythms. But it's with the open fret, or uh, um, the E, open E, low E, and then you're gonna play at the seventh and ninth fret. And then he goes into this chord. And 
that's basically it for the bridge part. And for the chorus, there's some more um, <laughs> interesting chord formations. So the chorus is going to be, it's going to go from E to F, um, but it's not going to be a traditional um, E, it's going to be this form. And then we're going to slide up to a weird form of the F chord too. Then back to the E. To the F. So here's what it sounds like all the way through. end of that part there's like another kind of mini bridge and it's just a power chord build up and it goes back into the verse so it's just another like palm muted so that's it for this um, song I hope you like this video um, I, I hope it kind of showed you that you, you don't have to play like traditional open chords or power chords in rock songs you can actually do these diff add these kind of weird jazz um, chords and strange chords in and uh, kind of make it sound good so it's always a good idea to kind of play with uh, some of these chords get a chord book and just kind of play different chords different forms of chords and see how they sound um, and in a future video I'll be doing showing you how to play um, both of the solos um, so look for that coming soon and uh, remember to subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week and like this video and I'll see you guys next time.